What were the consequences of the Battle of Actium in ancient Rome? The Battle of Actium was a significant event in ancient Rome that took place on September 2, 31 BCE. It marked the culmination of a power struggle between two key figures in the Roman Republic, Octavian, later known as Augustus, and Mark Antony, and had far-reaching consequences for the Roman Empire. Here is a detailed history of the events leading up to and following the Battle of Actium. 1. Formation of the Second Triumvirate, 43 BCE Following the assassination of Julius Caesar in 44 BCE, a power vacuum emerged in Rome. Three prominent figures, Octavian, Caesar's heir and grandnephew, Mark Antony, a military commander and Caesar's loyal supporter, and Lepidus, a Roman general, formed the Second Triumvirate to consolidate their power. 2. Division of Territories, 42 BCE The Second Triumvirate divided the Roman Republic among themselves. Octavian controlled the western provinces, Antony took the eastern provinces, and Lepidus governed Africa. 3. Antony's Alliance with Cleopatra, 41 BCE Mark Antony formed a romantic and political alliance with Cleopatra VII, the Queen of Egypt. This alliance created tensions between Octavian and Antony, as Octavian saw Antony's relationship with Cleopatra as a threat to Roman interests. 4. Antony's failed Parthian campaign, 36-34 BCE Antony launched a military campaign against the Parthian Empire, seeking to expand Roman territories in the east. However, the campaign ended in failure, leading to a loss of support for Antony in Rome. 5. Octavian's rise to power, 32-31 BCE Octavian capitalized on Antony's failures and used propaganda to paint him as a threat to Rome's republican values. Octavian gained support from the Roman Senate, while Antony's relationship with Cleopatra further alienated him from the Roman elite. 6. Naval Battle of Actium, 31 BCE the final clash between Octavian and Antony occurred at the Battle of Actium, off the coast of Greece. Octavian's fleet, commanded by Agrippa, defeated Antony and Cleopatra's combined forces. The battle was a decisive victory for Octavian. 7. Aftermath and Consequences the Battle of Actium had several significant consequences. Octavian emerged as the sole ruler of Rome and began consolidating his power. Antony and Cleopatra fled to Egypt but were pursued by Octavian's forces. In 30 BCE, Antony and Cleopatra committed suicide, leading to the annexation of Egypt by Rome. Octavian became the first Roman emperor, taking the title Augustus, and initiated the transformation of the Roman Republic into the Roman Empire. Augustus implemented political, social, and economic reforms, bringing a period of stability and prosperity known as the Pax Romana. The Battle of Actium marked the end of the Roman Republic and the beginning of Imperial Rome. Overall, the Battle of Actium was a pivotal event that reshaped the political landscape of ancient Rome and set the stage for the rise of the Roman Empire under Augustus. Thanks for watching, please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.